Hello everyone and welcome back to Things To Do. Today we'll tell you about the 10 things you must do in Bali when you visit. So without further ado, let's begin. Bali is one of the best tropical hideaways in the world. It's a place that can be both a spiritual retreat and an adventurer's paradise at the same time. It's a place that families and young hedonists can both enjoy. How about we start with the list? Number 10. Nyang Nyang Beach it's not often that the words south and secluded are used together to describe Bali, but Uluwatu's Nyang Nyang Beach definitely lives up to the hype. If you are determined enough to find it, you'll be rewarded with a beach with white sand, green cliffs, and a shockingly small number of people. And who knows, maybe you'll get lucky enough to be the only person on the coast when you get there. If you've been complaining about how crowded Bali's most popular beaches have become in recent years, Nyang Nyang Beach is the place to get away from all you've been looking for. Sukawati Art Market The Sukawati Art Market is a cheaper and more peaceful alternative to the nearby Ubud Market and other well-known places in southern Bali. There is a wide range of handmade art for sale, from framed paintings of local farm life to huge wooden sculptures of Hindu gods. Because there aren't a lot of people there, it's a great place to practice your haggling skills on brightly patterned clothes and accessories, home goods, and tote bags that suit a wide range of tastes. A calmer market that focuses on handicrafts, known for its artisanal goods that are made by hand. Come to us for prices that won't cheat you. Who needs to quit? Bargain hunters, don't leave Bali without getting something to remember it by. Mount Batur Mount Batur, which is also called Gunung Batur, and the peaceful land around it have the potential to be the most beautiful place on an island with a lot of beautiful natural places. At 5,600 feet, the volcanic wonder has Bali's largest crater lake. It is a great place to ride a bike, and the hills are perfect for hiking. Along the way, there are beautiful villages. From the top, the view of the sunrise is really beautiful. The climb takes about two hours, so people who are easily discouraged or don't like getting up at an ungodly hour shouldn't try it. But if you make it to the top, you might be able to see a beautiful landscape for the first time in your life that is covered in fog. Over the clouds tops, a big group of people, intrepid travelers, must see the sunrise seen from the mountaintop, transferring oneself. Take a walk, best for bucket list essentials. Number 7. Ubud's Monkey Forest The Ubud Monkey Forest may be like an open-air zoo, but it is actually a sacred place where more than a thousand long-tailed Balinese macaques live in their natural habitat. Balinese Hindus who come to the complex's three old temples to pray see the monkeys as holy even though some of the primates can be quite annoying. If you hang jewelry, bags, or food where the monkeys can see them, they'll grab them with their sticky fingers. Number 6. Bejiguwang Hidden Canyon Bejiguwang Hidden Canyon is a gorge in Sakowati which is thought of as a holy place in Bali. Even though it's easy to find, it gives the impression that it is hidden. Be ready to climb, wade, swim, and scale your way through a rocky tropical landscape that is unlike anything else on the island. The Ouse River runs through a series of canyons that are about half as high as the entrance. For your own safety, you should hire a guide, and if you can, you should avoid going during the rainy season when the water levels can rise to dangerous levels and the canyon is closed because of the increased risk. Number 5. Tirtaganga Tirtaganga is a former palace that has been turned into beautiful water gardens. It costs $2 to get in, but it looks like it has been around for hundreds of years. In fact, the royal family of Karangasam came up with the idea for it in 1946. Even though it's in a remote part of East Bali, tourists still go there to see the magical fountains, shrubs, sculptures, and flowers. They also keep standing on the eight-sided stepping stones so they can feed the carp. Besides that, there are pools of spring water made of stone, and you can even swim in one of them. Number 4. Pentai Pasir Petit Pantapasir Pati, also called White Sand Beach, is a beach on the island of Bali that is known for being one of the best hidden beaches, even though word has gotten out about it. People who know where to go can come to this part of East Bali to enjoy a more relaxed atmosphere and beautiful blue waters, which are hard to find on the popular beaches on the west side of the island. The water is very clear and among the best you can find anywhere on the island. It's also calm enough that you can snorkel and swim at your own pace. Number 3. Sukumpul Waterfall If seeing some of Bali's dreamlike landscapes is high on your list of things to do, you should go to the Sukumpul Waterfall. Many people think that this is the best place on the island to see a waterfall. 
Tsekumpul is like most of the waterfalls in North Bali in that it will take some work to get there. It will take you about an hour to walk the trails and make your own way down the green valley, but once you do, you'll be rewarded with a large area of beautiful tropical landscapes and large waterfalls that look like they're falling from the sky. Many people think that the Sekumpul waterfall is the best one on the island. If hikers are patient, they will see a long stretch of beautiful tropical landscapes and big waterfalls that look like they're falling from the sky. Number 2. Echo Beach Echo Beach is right next to Batu Balong to the north and it has many of the same features as its more famous neighbor. Some of these features are charcoal colored sand, great places to surf, and a lot of places to eat and drink. Echo, on the other hand, doesn't seem to have changed as much, and the waves there are bigger and better for surfers. Even though more and more tourists and locals are coming here, you will still have plenty of space to spread out, look at the scenery, wander around aimlessly, and even put your toes in the water. There were big waves and black sand, access to a lot of services, there's a lot that can be done. Best for people who just want to go to the beach or surf and don't care much about extras. Number 1. Thomas Beach Thomas Beach is a long white sand beach near Uluwatu in the southern part of Bali. It is backed by tall palm trees. It has managed to stay a well-kept secret so only the most daring travelers know about it. Some people don't want to go to the beach because there are steps down to it, but those who do will find even more space to spread out and drink fresh coconut water from a vendor. Beautiful view of the beach, services and getting to go down 175 steps, beachiness, the beach and sea are beautiful. Advantages and disadvantages. It was quiet and there were a lot of steps going up and down. Ideal for a day at the beach with friends and family. Thomas Beach is absolutely beautiful. In the turquoise water, you can swim, which isn't always possible in Bali where the sea can be rough. And the sand is soft enough to lie on or walk on. To get to Thomas Beach, you have to put in some work. Go to Suku Espresso and take the dirt path next to it to a small parking lot. From here, the beach is 175 steps down a path along the coast. That's it for today, guys. Hopefully, when you visit Bali, you'll enjoy it to the fullest. Leave a like and comment below what you'd like to do the most in Bali. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.